Hey guys, Clint here from Lawn Hub and I'm here with Max Kleinig at the Holdfast Bowls Club. Yep. That's how it's said. Uh, today Max has had the rink cord. Yep, scarified yesterday, cord today. Beautiful. I oh, saw so you scarify first? Yeah, scarified two ways yesterday. Yep. And what's the idea behind that? Uh, so we want to remove as much of the crap that's built up over the years. Um, it does go pretty, does build up pretty quick. Even before you core? Fatchiness, yeah. Just yeah, to get him, sure. so he's co yeah. like he's closer to the... You're taking the top off, basically. Yep. Um, not like scalping with your home lawn. Yep. It's, yeah, Scarify is dedicated to going down. I went three mil. Yep. Three mil under the, the canopy, so yeah, it's ripping out a fair bit of gear. Hang on, so you're cutting this at three mil? No, we cut this at 1.5. And then you're going three mil under, under that. that. Yeah. So you're going so you're two... basically taking out dirt and two the mil thatch of dirt. layer yeah. that's under there. Yep. Okay. So, we moved a lot of stuff yesterday, probably 60 or 70 wheelbarrows worth of grass. And why? Uh, just that, like I said, that removal allows all that new stuff to bud. You can see down there now, we'll have a look afterwards, but it's really got back to the crown of the grass. Yep. And then we want all that new leaf matter to come through after we've cored, and I'll give it a heavy feed today. Will you top dress this at all? No, I'm no. not going to this year. <laughs> so you usually gonna leave would, it? I usually would, but I'm not doing it this year. So this can be out of play for a... It's going to be out of play till about mid-January. So today is about a month. So a month, yep. yep. Okay. Maybe just under a month, I'm hoping. And you'll feed it with a granular? Yeah. Yep. And just yep. give it a good water. Yep. Good upfront granular too. Um, yep. It's a, like a kelp coated methyl urea coated. Yep. Um, so that'll feed it straight away rather yeah, than over the next. Yep. It's yep. only a 17 nitrogen, so it's not a huge amount, but yep. it's 75% um, upfront. Yep. So it'll give it a pretty good boost along, which yeah. should be good, which is what it needs because we've had, as you can probably see in the background, those patches haven't really recovered from winter. Yep. That's the scarring of Rhizoctonia, which is brown patch, which is what we get a lot in bowling greens and yep. a lot in South Australia in general. It's probably 90% of the, the disease we come across. Yep. So it just hadn't come back because we had a bit of a crappy spring. And then, yeah, you start playing on it and you got heavy traffic and a lot of work, a lot of cutting, and it just never gets a chance to repair. So we thought, we've got three or four weeks off, we'll, get it done now. So I remember obviously South Australia had the, the lockdown and you yeah. kind of went, oh great, yep. like not great, but great. Well, I've got <laughs> six days yeah. to do some work. 14 days we had, yeah. So and 14 days oh, off, there was no sport uh, no for sport. 14 days. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So immediately that night you're out here yeah, on this rink? I actually scarified this really lightly yep. and I rubbed it back in with a top dressing bar and then cleaned up. Yep. And I probably shouldn't have, I probably should have just gone and like done this. what I did this. Because then you would have been 14 days ahead. Yeah, that's right. Yep. But then obviously yep. that hinges on having a contractor available to do the coring. That's right. It yep. was, and which he wasn't available because yep. it was essential. It yep. wasn't essential. Yep. So it was, uh, it didn't really work so out. So you weren't considered essential. You could just, you had to keep it alive. Only for watering though. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. so you would have had to have done that work the day, <laughs> yeah. the day before. Yeah. And then yeah. Technically okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, now this is a this will be able to play for a little while. That's how does that I guess how does that the club react to that? Like uh, I guess we, they're accepting of the fact that yeah. it just needs to be able to play. Wouldn't do it um, if it wasn't Christmas. So yep. we break now from the twenty fourth till the fifth. Yep. But we don't have a requirement for the third green until about the 15th. So they can play on the yeah, other ones, the other ones. Yep. And, and then yep. this that gets time. Play and that's got, I mean, there's five functions on this this weekend. So that'll just get pillaged yeah. by buck yep. shows and yeah. whatever else, yeah. Christmas parties yep. and- Stilettos. Yeah, barefoot bowls. <laughs> Free coring. Yep. <laughs> yeah, solid time, unfortunately. And we've got the um, green out the back as well for overflow yep. for our pennant players that still want to have a game. And that's obviously important the for the club to have yeah. those events from a finance yeah, standpoint yeah, to bring sure. in money to keep the greens alive and kicking. It's the only thing that gives us any budget. Yeah. Is to be able to yeah, because the cost of membership is yeah, so right. low, and that's I guess right. the cost of food and drink so low. That's right. Everything's pretty cheap at Bowls Cup. Yeah. So. Cheapest okay. sport in the world to play. Is it? Oh, comfortably. Yeah. It's like $250 for a membership for a whole year. Table tennis has got to be down there. <laughs> <laughs> Those really? balls are expensive. I don't know, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, okay, so it's been double scarified. Yep, so one in each direction. And when we say scarified, we're not talking like get the old Victor and drop it down to zero and no. drag it across. You actually... Yeah, scarified. Um, and we'll have a look at the, the mower. I'll actually, if Duffy can cut some of that in. What yeah, do you we'll call it? A fat boy? This is the fat boy. This is the cleanup machine. Yep. But the scarifier is a designated scarifier. It's a turf tech yep. scarifier with um, tungsten tip blades. So that's a broom. 
basically this is a broom that sucks everything up, yep. but also you can bed it right down hard yep. and basically take this back to dirt if you yep. wanted to. Completely yep. back to dirt. Yep. Which is some people do, but yeah. And but there's still roots in there. Yeah, oh, there's yep. heaps, yeah. Yep. I mean, you can see here, like where we're standing now, it's not a hell of a lot of grass left. No, but there's grass everywhere. You can see it. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's enough that you can, I can imagine it's going to cover out pretty well. Yeah, it should do in the next few weeks. Yeah. Well, I hope so. Which is funny because like that looks dead. Yeah, so that's just, and that, it's not. That's, that's fully in play. That's yeah. like so. That's what an industry that term for just, dead. That is it's just fully in play. Out. Yeah, it's just alive. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's hanging in there. So that's I like it this I see you. Um, everyone's yeah. coming to say goodbye. <laughs> it's <on lots> of <laughs> needs water tomorrow night, literally. Yes. And if we can get a heart in an esky today. <laughs> yeah, she's cool. We should be able to get it going again. Yeah. All right. It actually needs, that one has, by some stroke of luck, has gone two weeks without irrigation. That hasn't been watered for two weeks. Yeah, and it's cut it just under two mil. And you and you can, nice. so you can rock up and look at it and go, it needs to be watered now? I've, like, I've been looking at it for four days saying it needs water, but it's been played on every day. Oh, so I, you can't. I have to, because I've got this one out of play. <laughs> and that's where things get a bit dicey and tricky, because, yeah, with our old archaic hoses, yeah. we need, you need eight hours yeah. to get the full a full watering schedule in. Sounds to me like you need to install a really large tank and uh, pump and like We've have got a nice tank massive there and a like nice pump and we just need some big guns shooting across there. Just need some guy. I don't know anyone. But just need some guy to install an irrigation oh. system. <laughs> That's awkward. Oh, shit, look at oh, that. Wore this shirt again. <laughs> awkward. Um, okay, so it's now a feed straight away. Yeah. A good yep. water. Um, some gypsum as well, a little bit of gypsum just to granular chuck on gypsum yeah, or liquid granular gypsum. gypsum. Because yep. we've got some time, it's just going to break down over the next three or four waterings. Yep. Chuck that on. And so. because you're doing an upfront feed, will you then apply food or, or like? Uh, we're applying some soil drenches. So I've got some um, humic acid going to be put in yep. and some penetrant. Yep. So, so uh, penetrant's the next step up from a wetting agent? Well, they're both different things. Yep. They're very different things. So penetrant is to design to flush the profile, basically. Yep. While there's holes, we're going to get as much water down there as much as we can, flush out all the crap that's been built up, yep. and allow the root, the root zone to be watered quicker yep. than what it would be by putting out your irrigation with a soil wetter, because yep. it's retaining it, sort yep. of holding onto yep. it. Penetrant just sort of flushes. So would, it, uh, would a home gardener put penetrant down and then apply a wetter a month or two later? It could, yeah, yeah. So it depends on what sort of what you need for that for that style of soil as well. Yeah. So I've got spots at home on my lawn, uh, which is looking really nice at the moment. But I can tell that it's got some dry spots because it's watering. It's it's drying out too quick. Yep. So that's a perfect time to be putting soil wetter on. Yep. Whereas if I had a patch that was consistently not getting water down, yep. and I was having to soak it, and there was water beating off. Yep. Would need a penetrant, yeah, cool. and I actually um, we'll do a video of it yeah. uh, at some stage. Probably we'll on my lawn. Spray out some penetrant. <laughs> my lawn's not good. You can actually spray. You can pour water onto it, and it puddles. Yeah. Spray penetrant onto it, and then pour water again, and it just goes. Yep. Gone. Yeah. And the bubbles look unreal. It's like nah, it's weird. So, <laughs> could you use a wetting agent, a wetting agent, and a penetrant on the same lawn? Like, would you do one? Usually, like if you, you had wouldn't an, need you, both. Yeah. So you're not going to go. Oh, that area needs penetrant. That well, you area could. Needs, yeah, if you had an area. Not that at the same knew. time, obviously. But yeah, you're like, that's if you, right. You, you, if you're micro-treating your lawns, yeah, which obviously right. we, we got can. homeowners now that are out there every day With applying and stuff too. Yeah, applying stuff. Yeah. People, a lot of people are saying that they've got builder's rubble here. Yep. I mean, nothing's really going to help that because you've got rocks in your lawn. Yeah. But um, if you had a spot that was really, really hard work getting water into penetrant for sure. Yeah. Okay. You may see a really improved grass thickness and density. For those interested, you're very likely to see a penetrant on our um, website very soon. It's something that we've been talking about. Um, so yeah, that's all I can say right now. So that's it. <laughs> Cord. Yep. Double scarified. Fat boy broomed. Yeah, clean up as much as you can. So you want all that, like you can see there's still a little bit of debris around. We've got a little bit of the, oh, we scooped them up because they were wind road this morning. So the, um, I guess the idea, if you core it and don't clean it up, the shit's just going to go back in the hole. Basically, you're just putting the same stuff yeah. back in there. Yeah. We really want to clean this out and it's been sort of used. It's used now. We yep. wanna, we're want we not filling it with um, Oh, because the soil usually, has no value. Well, it does, but yeah, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to use it again. I want no. to get rid of it. It's got leave some air there. black layer, yep. which is the crappy layer that sits on top of these, which is like an algae. Yep. Um, because your watering moss, is that's yeah. so low. Yeah, yeah. And, and because you do have gaps in bowling greens, you don't have that perfect golf cover grain, yep. uh, that golf green cover. Yep. Um, we do have to have run with gaps because we need to make them fast, really yep. fast. Yep. Compared to oh, a golf because green. you're not hitting a, yeah, a small ball with a, right. with a club, you're you rolling a heavy, roll a heavy ball yep. down. So it has to be no friction sort of thing. All right. So yeah, we leave gaps and then in comes moss, in comes algae, and then you just can't, nothing will grow through that. Grass yep. will not break through that yep. at all. So you have to just Because it it's like a mucus layer, yeah, like a phlegm and when it's on your lawn. lawn. <laughs> and then when it dries out, it goes rock hard. Yep. It bakes. Yep. So algae just bakes on and you yep. cannot get it off unless you spray it or 
grooming it or shaving it off. You can treat that with a chemical? Yeah, you can. Yep. Yeah, but all that does is dry it out. Then yeah, you so you really it. want to get rid of it. Then you have to remove it. Okay, so, makes sense. Yeah, all so right. all this stuff's just done. It's cool. had it's done, it's dust, and we'll get stuck into some feeding and hopefully we get some new stuff coming through those holes. Beautiful. Hopefully you get some warmth as well. Yeah. I think you're going to now. I mean, it's going to be cool this week, but after yeah. that, I think it should be fine. Yeah. Yep. So that's it. That's, um, I guess, the coring and the scarification of rink number two, I'm guessing. Three? A one, green. Five, this eight. is a green. A green? Yeah. I keep calling, I'm getting, I'll get Eight there. rinks on a green. Eight rinks on a, oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> um, I do care. I've just got a lot in my mind. We'll have to flash back to last year when I told you all about this. <laughs> I should have watched that on the way down here. It's oh, nearly a year ago. Yeah, there you go. So that's, um, yeah. That green was getting top dressed. The, um, another process that happens on greens, obviously, uh, if you've got any questions, you can DM us on our Facebook or you can comment in the comments below on the, on the YouTube that you'll be watching this on. Uh, Max is more than happy and um, has lots of spare time. So he's sitting around waiting for your questions. So <laughs> if you're having any troubles with your lawn at home and you want to ask some questions, feel free to send us a message. Uh, as always, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe to the channel uh, so you don't miss out on anything. Thanks, man. Good to see you. You too, man. <laughs> <laughs>